This is James Hilder for iPhone TV in association with Matt Cleese, Jim Mobile. With me, I've got the Commonwealth European and now WBC international champion, Josh Warrington. Congratulations, Josh. Thanks very much, James. Thank you very much. Good. Talk to me a little bit about the fight. Dennis Byron, very tough man. What you kind of expected from this fight? Yeah, I thought we were going to, I thought we were going to be a little bit awkward. Obviously, the southpaw, the only tiny bits of footage I've seen of him, you know, picks his punches, moves, a little bit slick. Um, but, you know, full credit to him. I him with some good punches there. Some clean punches and a couple of times I thought he had him. Yeah, and I've heard everybody at ringside shouting body, body, but, you know, I was getting a little bit too carried away. Um, probably something I'll need to work on, you know, um, in the future. But, you know, I'm always improving my game. I just thought I'd give the fans a little bit of money worth this time round. But, uh, yeah, a couple of times I thought I, I, I was going to get him out of there. But, uh, you know, he, he, he stayed strong and he stayed tight and uh, probably could pick some bit more. But, you know, got the win at the end of the day. And I think that's what the main thing is. Fantastic support, it's well documented about the support of film some of it today. Absolutely crazy the leads that are for Josh Warwick. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know I'm, I was I should have took my kit and I always do, though, you know, say thank you for coming. You know, with that kind of support with me, I feel like I could you know, go on and, and, and win a, a world title, you know what I mean? I've been, I mean, I know when I'm on my, on my game I've been, you know, I've been at the table. I'll um, I'll do a little bit more, but yeah, I am trying to impress Vinny a little bit too much, gotta get carried away. How have you managed to get Vinny Jones here to book you out tonight? I just, give him a, I just give him a call. I said, Vinny, what are you up to on, uh, on 11th? He said, no. So I said, yeah, get yourself down to the arena and just like that. That's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> but yeah, we just, like I say, you know, um, you know, full credit to him. Uh, you know, uh, got the win. You know, some, some could, it's, there was some point in like, fucking hell. What's it's going to take to get him out of there, but you know, probably just bit and punch a little bit more, but. Always improving, always learning, and uh, you know, on to the next one. One eye on Evgeny Gradovich versus Lee Selby on the May 30th. That, that show in itself is looking great. That fight's a great fight. Would you consider fighting the winner? Is that a fight that goes through your mind? Oh, 100%. I mean, um, you know, I've got, I've got a manager on European. I've got like a, a fucking list on the domestic level who wants to beat me up. <laughs> so, um, but the fight I'm chasing Lee Selby, I'll say, what are you ring size? It's one what everyone in Leeds wants me to see me fight. And I wish him all the best in, um, in against Gradovich. I know, you know, we probably can fight it, you know, he'll be, be up for it after, after tonight, but I think um, I've, got it, I've got what it takes to beat him, you know, I think I know I've got what it takes to beat him, so, um, you know, that's a, a massive fight for Dunline and that's one more I'm after. Do you think selby has got what it takes to beat Evgeny Gradovich? Yeah, I think so, I think so, he's a, he's a bit of an awkward style, you know, he, he can box and I think he, that's what he will do, he'll aim to boxing, um, I think Gradovich, uh, Gradovich moves a bit slower and I think Selby's a little bit too busy and he'll just run away with first six, but then, he'll, you know, he'll, he'll, I think he'll, he'll beat him, maybe a late stoppage, but more, more likely points, but um, like I say, I think we've got, we've got what it takes to beat uh, Lee, so you know, I hope him, wish him all best on uh, May 30th, and then let it down the line. We can, we can look for that fight against him. Where can we expect seeing you back in action? Whether that be in Leeds, whether that be on the road, what, what's the plan? Well, uh, the two fights are quick succession. I've been training since you know December time. It's good to keep active, but uh, I think uh, I'm due a little break. I might get stopped at Seaside. You know, maybe get stopped at Caravan Treat myself. No, I think uh, just a couple of weeks uh, off. Um, I've got a mandatory like I say on European and I've got a list of other big fights down the line so I'm hungry, I'll fight whoever and um, you know I've just got to listen to my team and uh, I reckon maybe before some time, some time or just after so we'll see what happens. Right, listen, congratulations on a great win, thank really, you really done in City Proud mate and we like look forward to yeah, getting you again real soon. A massive thank you to everyone who turned out tonight, uh, support unbelievable, I look to you all and uh, thanks for coming.